vlog finally i can do my vlog because somebody woke up she just woke up i was about at three so far that is she went to sleep at no, three she went saying, actually actually you're saying that, actually you're saying that i just woke up because like it's so late but i'm telling you i went to bed at three so i feel like that's an appropriate time no it's not a perfect time let me tell you why it's not a perfect time because she went to bed at 3 p.m. She woke up at 9. Then we had a meal, our dinner, and she went back to bed and got up at 9 a.m. That's a lot of hours. Well, if you would have stopped and got us some coffee, I would have woke up. But you didn't you were stop. Sleeping, you were sleeping. I See? thought you were going to stop. All of the meds for huh? coffee. I would have got up Always the man fault, huh? Anyway, vlog of the day is simply I want to talk about this week report on our miles. The miles that we made this week, honestly, Martin, that was a horrible week for us. I mean, the week is not over yet. We, uh, what's today? Today's Thursday. Our weekend, Tuesday, is Tuesday to Tuesday. If you work with Martin, we've been here almost two years, and today was really bad. Like this week was really bad when it comes to miles. It's Thursday, and we only did a thousand miles as a team driver. This is not good. I like Martin. They're really dope. I really do like Martin over here because it's not only. I don't judge a company based on how much they give and how much they pay. It's way more into that, right? The flexibility, the home time, how they treat the driver, the possibility to even make more money if you can, stuff like that. It's, it's a lot more, you know, the staff, dispatchers, if they're cool, you know, all this go into it. And we didn't make no miles. A thousand miles? Think about that. A thousand miles. Plus the one I'm gonna take to Laredo. That's another thousand. That's another six hundred. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna average sixteen hundred by Friday. So I only have really three more days. The weekend plus Monday, cause our weekend. I mean our weekend Tuesday at noon. So I have Friday, Saturday, Monday to at least make. 3,500 miles and I know I'm not gonna get any minimum pay because I refused the load because I got tired of it they gave me some crappy load and I got frustrated and I said man I'm not taking this load and I refused it I shouldn't have refused but I was irritated and I refused it was 15 miles 15 miles can you imagine a 15 mile so I refused that. I said, man, I'm not taking that load. To be qualified to get a minimum pay with Martin, cannot refuse any load. You had to be there on time. You had to, you had to upload your paper on time. Things like that. And I did one wrong already, which is, you know, refuse the load. I'm gonna ask my fleet manager. Hopefully, it doesn't penalize me because I haven't made any miles this week. So. Really bad, really bad week, but hopefully I'm optimistic about it. Hopefully things change as we're moving forward. You know, we got three more days. Who knows? Things can come up. This is where I need to back up. This is where I need to back up at. Right here. Golly, this is tight over here. Well, not that tight, but we'll see if we will be successful walking over here. Now I'm walking to the shipping office. I don't know what the okay, shipping office is going to be here. Walking to the shipping office. All right. Appointment at 9. Uh, yes, sir. I'm going to uh, get you. I'm going to get you. You got an appointment for 9, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You just get on the side of the road over there. I got you. Thank you. All right. All right. I'm about to go out there and set my camera. I'm gonna set my camera just 
open the door already. I'm coming at dark four. All right. <laughs> tires they're all on lunch right now so when they come back they're gonna load us we literally going 185 miles away we had a good load going to texas laredo texas a 600 miles one but they took that away they took that away hopefully he'll bring back because i wanted to go to laredo you know, the reason I won't go to Laredo, they have this H-E-B, have the best cookie. You know, if you know, if you watch my video, I have mentioned a lot. I'm from Africa, and growing up, we used to eat this cookie, and H-E-B is the only store I know that have my childhood cookie, you know. It's kind of like a French cookie, you know, a foreign cookie, so. They are the only one that got that. So I was excited about going to Laredo and get that. But that took the load away. Hopefully he'll, he'll bring back. Hopefully. But for now, we're sitting here. We had to wait on them because they are on lunch. You see, they are on lunch right now. So I'm here chilling and recording and talking and just doing anything. Alright, so keep you guys posted and go from here. I'm out. <laughs> 